Roboblox is the latest and best new robot to teach kids how to code. One of the great things about them is that all the robots can be built and rebuilt as many times as you would like. In this video, we're just going to go over some of the key features of the app so you can get started with your robot. When you first open the app, you are presented with a screen like this. On here are the robots that are available. We'll be using the Q Scout, so let's go ahead and click on him. Since there is only one robot that can be built with the Q Scout, there is only one photo. You can still create your own designs using the kit, but Roboblock has only provided instructions for one type of build. Other kits, such as Q Uppers, has six different robots that you can build, and therefore there are six different pictures. So let's go back to QScout and look at what we can do with him. At the bottom here, you have Build and Introduction. If we click on Introduction, it gives a brief overview of the robot and the difficulty of building. It says 20 minutes to build. It might take some kids longer to do so. If we click Build, all of the instructions are there with easy pictures to follow. When building, make sure that you are mindful of the holes for the screws, because some of the holes have threads built in and therefore do not require a bolt, whereas others do. Once you have completed building the robot, you should have something that looks like this. There are a few parts of the robot that you need to be mindful of. First, the ports for the sensors. There are four ports in total on the QScout. This will be important later on when you are writing your own code. You also have two sensors, the ultrasonic sensor in the front and the line sensor underneath. We will look at these later. On the side, you have a USB port which is used to connect the robot to your computer. The kit comes with a cable that will fit this port. On the other side, where it says BLE, that is for connecting the robot to your device using Bluetooth. When connecting, you might have to hold down or push this button. Finally, there is an on and off button on the back. When you turn the robot on, it will flash the double lights on top and play a noise. Let's go back to the app and just click on the QScout image, not build or introduction. In this part of the app, you can control the robot just like a remote car. When you turn on the robot, it will flash the double lights and make a noise. Once the robot is on, it might not automatically connect to the phone. To connect your device to the robot, make sure your Bluetooth is on and then click on the Bluetooth icon in the upper right hand corner. Once it is connected, you can drive the robot around using the virtual joystick. The buttons on the right will turn on the ultrasonic lights, the double lights on top, or they will play a noise. Since these are pre programmed already, in this part of the app, you cannot change the colors or sound. However, you can do that later on when you code the robot yourself. At the top, you can also choose from any of the pre-programmed demos to get used to the robot and some of its features. That is all we are going to cover in this video. In the next one, we're going to start writing our own code using the app, so be sure to join us.